Are you guys tired of going in game and going on duty only to get this message? Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to fix in today's video. Hello guys, Trooper123 here, and today I'm going to show you how to update Bejojo's mods. It gets really annoying when you get in game and it disables either Stop the Pet or Ultimate Backup or any of Bejojo's mods because he releases an update. But he releases an update to make these mods and plugins way better. And you have to update them in order to use them again. So, in order to do that, you want to close out of your Grand Theft Auto 5 totally. And we need to go to Bejojo's website. The link will be in the description. And you need to uh, download whichever plugin got disabled. For me today, as you saw in the beginning, it is Stop the Ped, but if it was Ultimate Backup or CompuLite or ALPR Lite or Speed Radar, any of those, you would just do the exact same thing, but for those. Um, so we're going to go to Stop the Ped, go ahead and click on whichever one you need to update. And you can scroll down and you can see his latest release features right here. Feel free to read through those if you wish. But you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and press this blue download button and then press download on Mediafire. Just like that, and I've actually already downloaded that, but I did it again. And once you have it downloaded, you can drag it out to your desktop like that. And at this point, when we want to navigate to our Grand Theft Auto main directory, remember it's the one that just says Grand Theft Auto 5 and not dash copy. Once you're in here, we want to go to plugins, LSPDFR. And once we're here, we can go ahead and open the newly downloaded plugin by Bejojo. And it's going to have a folder inside it. Go ahead and open that. And we do not need a new Rage Native because it is already in our Grand Theft Auto main directory. Instead, we can go into the Plugins folder and then LSPDFR. And we have Police Smart Radio, Stop the Ped, Vocal Dispatch, Stop the Ped.dll, and Stop the Ped.ini. These are the only two files you want to worry about. Now, do not drag in this .ini because what this is is it's your configuration settings. And if you were to overwrite this, it would get rid of your key bindings and your parameters and any buttons that you set up for Stop the Ped. So you do not want to drag and drop this in. This has nothing to do with updating. The only file in here that has anything to do with the mod and updating is this .dll right here. This is the only one you want to drag in when you update Bejojo's mods. So go ahead and drag in the .dll, just like that. And it's going to ask to replace it. Go ahead and replace it. And that is all you have to do to update Bejojo's mods. You have to do this every time he updates the mods. And luckily for us, he does not update them too frequently. I'd say every two or three weeks on average. So once you have dragged this .dll in, you can go ahead and X out both of these and we can head on into the game. Before we go in game, guys, don't forget that I do have a community discord where you can come in here and hang out and talk with other people that play LSPDFR, including myself. Also, if you have any issues with installing a plugin or an issue with GTA itself, you can hop in here and I have four help channels now and a team of helpers available to assist you in resolving your problem. I am also usually on all the time, so feel free to come in here and tag me for any help. Um, I also have a page with all the mods that I use, so if you're curious as to what modifications that I use in LSPDFR, you can come in here and download all these. I have videos on how to install most of these. And um, my Discord is rapidly growing. I am approaching 200 members, so feel free to join it. The link will be in the description to join the Discord. I'm always looking for new members. Alright, so guys, we are now in the game, and you will now see whenever I walk up to this person that I just pulled over. Stop the Ped is active, it tells me down there above the minimap. And I can use Stop the Ped, and wow, this new update looks really cool. They changed the, um, the uh, art behind the Stop the Ped up there. But anyway, that is how you update Bejojo's mod. You're going to have to do this every time he releases an update. For Ultimate Backup, Stop the Ped, ALPR Lite, or any of his plugins to add to LSPDFR. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am coming really close to 200 subscribers, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.